Yeah, it's cool to be here. Halifax Comedy Fest, great, uh, great city. Love it. I live in Toronto now. A little different. My friends uh, make fun of me now. They say I'm old. I turned uh, 36 this year. Yeah. They made fun of me, actually. They said when I was 35, that's when I was officially old, because I was el eligible for old-timers hockey. And, and uh, <laughs> a couple of them put my picture in the paper. Underneath it, they got, they got them to write, uh, he's halfway, halfway dead, barely alive. Hey, Toronto, he's 35. <laughs> Embarrassing picture. <laughs> One of them's older than me, so I got him back, though, because he turned uh, 40, and I got them to put his picture in the paper. Underneath it, I got them to write, Lordy, Lordy, look who's a pedophile. <laughs> yeah, so, right? He lost his job. He, uh, he's unemployed now. Uh, still single, too. Mid 30s, single. You know, dad thinks I'm gay. Right? He's back here in Nova Scotia calling me. Is that what happened to you when you moved to Toronto, huh? I'm like, yeah, dad, I caught it. Maybe I should try gay. It's not working out with women. Yeah. I figure it's like beer when you're 14. I don't like the taste of this now, but eventually, who knows? <laughs> one or two kids would be nice. I would love to have a couple kids. It's great. I think that's people have small families now. No one has big families anymore, except there's the odd family you'll hear about, like a family where I grew up in Picto, the Landry's, horny Catholics, right? <laughs> Huge family, 15 kids, eight boys, seven girls. That's enough for two rival gangs, you know? <laughs> what are you doing, Mr. Landry? Get off your wife, you know? Come on, dude. Stop reading the Bible, sir. And they did it in 17 years. 15 kids in 17 years. How much bounce back time is he giving his wife here? A little bit of recovery time. What's going on here? Congratulations, Mrs. Landry. You've given birth to a brand new baby. Mr. Landry, this is a hospital. Get off her, sir. <laughs> ah. Dumb people have a lot of kids, I've noticed as well. But dumb people statistically have more children than intelligent people. That's true. You want to know why? Because they're friggin' dumb. Come on. The more kids you have, too, the more chance you might have a shitty one. That would suck, right? I don't want one of those kids that comes home with tattoos all over them, you know, when they're 12 or 13, all tatted up. No one had tattoos when I was growing up. No one did. The only guy who had a tattoo when I was growing up was the guy who would come to my town every summer to work the Ferris wheel. You know? yeah, congratulations, you're raising a carnival worker. Good stuff. They got this new thing now Well, they'll, they'll go, the kids will go to a body artist and he'll cut them and it makes it look like they got shot with a bullet. Hey, I saw a kid on TV with one of these, he's like, I did this to impress a girl. I'm like, buddy, open a door. <laughs> Chocolates or flowers, perhaps, I don't know. He's like, I got nine of these, I look like 50 cent. Well, you're white, so you don't. This other thing they do now, they put this thing in their ears, the kids, and they'll stretch their earlobe down real low. You guys know what I'm talking about? Yeah, that's a bad look. Yeah. It's a stupid look, too, because this isn't a tribal African village, eh? And your name's not... That's what. Your name's Randy, you're from Bedford. Really? I like to shoot blow darts at them. <coughs> so it's right over their head. <laughs> Kids start having sex early, too. They're touching each other and kissing and grabbing each other. I see it through the fence, right? And
They're introduced to sex at an early age. They have pornography on their mobile phones. They can just whip it out and then just whip it out. You know, it's amazing. I never had porn when I was a kid growing up. No, we had, we, we had one guy found a porn magazine, hid it in the woods. That's the truth. Every Friday after school, a group was just, would go on a hike like the Goonies, you know? Here we go, fellas, all right. Whew. We'd have treasure maps, 40 paces from the old oak tree, a pile of naked tits you'll see. Okay. <laughs> Friends have a lot of kids, I gotta pretend I care. You know? They always have smart kids, too. Ever notice that? Your friends only have smart kids. Wouldn't it be refreshing to just go over it? We don't know what happened. He's a goddamn idiot. <laughs> Take him away. Put him on eBay or something. I'm out of here. Always the smartest kid ever, though. Oh, Pete, he's so smart. He's probably the smartest kid on the block. Could be the street, likely the country. He's so smart, his brain's overdeveloped, it comes out of his ears as he lays sleeping. It's amazing, we gotta call in a team of scientists. He knows how to high-five. 18 months of age, he'll get right down there and put his hand out and high-five. Isn't that amazing? No, because soaking your goddamn dog. You know? <laughs> your kid just shit his pants, he's not intelligent. Then when you leave, do you ever have this one where they start handing the baby around for affection? Kisses and hugs and stuff? Whoa, you know? Go ahead, Pete. Come on, kiss him. We'll take pictures. Lick him. He's into it. Oh. <laughs> Pretty sure that's entrapment, you know? <laughs> I'm not related to the child. You take a picture of me doing that to your kid, then plant, put candy in the trunk of my car, I'm screwed for good, aren't I? I don't want to join the Catholic Church.